Hi guys, Frubug out here. I have another Shop Goodwill box of jewelry. This is like the previous one I had opened up. It is actually uh, two pounds of jewelry that I bought. And it was one of those sales on there that was not an auction. You just pay a dollar right then and there for it, plus shipping and handling. So I have opened it, but I have not got anything out of it. So we'll take the, the um, paper out and see exactly what I spent. But let me like fold it so you don't see my address and everything. But here's what it says. You guys can see that it says two pounds of mixed fashion jewelry in box. Um, inventory, blah, blah, blah. Um, let's see. It was a dollar. See right there how it says it's a dollar. And then shipping and handling was twelve ninety one. Well, shipping was twelve ninety one. Handling was three dollars. I don't know what part of handling except for them throwing it in the box. But uh, good work if you can get it, I guess. And the grand total is $16.91 for two pounds. I did weigh the box, and the box actually weighed out at over three pounds, but I'm sure that box probably doesn't weigh a pound. But anyway, I um, from the picture, what I saw was some really big, nice, sorry, let me put that there, sort of quick focusing in and out. Some really nice, large statement necklaces that I'm hoping are not broke. So that's why I've got my tilde out over there. Oh, it's doing that trace thing like you're on drugs. Ooh, or so I've heard. Um, and then I've got loop de loop, so it might be doing that because of my overhead light. But we're gonna deal with it right now because I'm it's late at night and I just feel like opening this up. Oh, well, I see a bracelet right away. That's nice. Well, so I'm gonna get this unattached. Oh, that's a nice bracelet. I like when they un kind of attach like that. Or is that the right word? Unattach? Come apart? Attach is a word. Is unattach a word? It's too late at night for me to be a dictionary. I'll tell you what's a word is tangled and mad and those usually go together when I have something that's tangled. I'm not one of those people like you guys out there. I know people say, oh, it soothes me to untangle stuff. Well, it doesn't mean. So let's just, let's just dump this out. Why not? Let's dump it out. It's pretty heavy. Okay, let's see what we got. What we got, what we got, what we got. Let's focus down there and get you a little centered. Okay. Um, there's just a plastic bangle. It's like it's got some glue or something on it. I can clean that up. It's kind of a teal color. They got a spiky kind of, a little like bumpy uh, bangle. I do have my magnet over here. It does stick, so. Ooh, that's a nice, interesting cuff. Look at that. It's got a full pearl. It's really stretchy. I'm not into pearls, but I like that. That's just interesting looking, isn't it? Oh, that sticks. You know what, guys? That is not magnetized. Um, I don't see a mark on it, but I think I will wait till I get my acid and test that for sterling silver. I do like that. This is one of those, um, wrap braces. Are those still popular? I never cared for them. And I guess then these little things, you can hang stuff off of them. I don't know, somebody might want it to repurpose it. Here's another one. Oh, see, it originally, see, yeah, you can put charms on it. Oh, that's a J charm. I can give that to my mom. She hangs it on her purse. Her name starts with J. That'd be nice for her. It has a little key. I can take that off there and go send that Patty to Patty because she does the hearts. So. Oh, I like this. That is a pretty necklace. I just sold all my necklaces to you guys, so um, I need some more necklaces, I guess. It does have a hang tag. Let's see what it says. I don't even care if it says Claire's or something. But oh, look at that, guys. Look at that, it's Monet. And no matter what anybody says, Monet to me will always mean what? Let me hear you say it, Monet. That is Monet and that is pretty. Oh, I think Matilda wants that on. She's asking me to put that on her. We got this vibe going. Isn't that pretty? Let me push up so you can see. Isn't that nice? I'm going to hold it a little closer so you guys can see. I really like that. That is very pretty. I did not expect to find a Monet piece in a dollar lot of jewelry. I really didn't. 
This is bugging me that I can't get it off here. I don't want to break it because I like it. I, oh, there. I knew there was a certain way you did it. I knew you pushed that in. Okay, this is a cuff bracelet, I guess. But see how it goes to go like that? And then it has the two things that go down. This looked like it would be marked to me. And it almost has a brass look to it. See, it's not magnetic. I don't see a mark on it, but look at that. Those aren't like rhinestones in there, I don't believe. It's just, no, it's just the way it's, let me see, wait a minute, let me look. No, it's the way that silver's cut. That is really nice, and I don't see a mark. If I find a mark later, I'll put it in the video. But I do really, really, really like that. And it latches, and then the latches go over like that. Oops. Got long fingernails, but I can't get hold of it. That's a good find. I like that. Ooh, glass pendant. It's a pendant. I just sold all my pendants, including all my glass ones. I had a lot of them. Oh, is that on there for... Maybe it's on that. Oh, we've got some tangles, guys. Maybe that glass pendant is on this. Oh, another yucky necklace with a ribbon. Don't get the ribbons. I'm not sure what's supposed to be. Oh, that's an earring, I think. That's piggybacking on there. And okay, that's an earring. I think the ribbon has got the glass on it, but guess what? It's coming off there because I do not like that string that is on there. So bear with me. Let's see if I can get it off there. that and that okay you know what I like that glass pendant it's beautiful it's gonna come off there I'm just gonna have to cut that off there because I have have a lot of these glass pendants but I've never seen one like this like twisted it's like reminds me of like ribbon candy doesn't it you Isn't that beautiful so I'm gonna take that off there because there's no hang tag on there I don't like that ribbon there's just a bangle break set you guys were asking me about bracelets the other night. I said I didn't have any. I actually got a ton of these bangle ones like this. And somebody told me they liked them, so I've been keeping them. Somebody told me that artists have been using them, and they also make dream catchers out of them. So I've been keeping them. That sticks also. Oh, I saw this one in here, and I had to buy it because I thought, doesn't that look like Snoopy, kind of? You know me. I love Snoopy. I know it's kind of a whacked out version of Snoopy. But doesn't it look like Snoopy? Kind of like a cartoon character of Snoopy? And then this is like enameled. It is marked inside. It says... Ju... I don't know if you guys can see that. J-I-U, like Ju, like Chinese. Ju... Okay. Ju Fong... Ju Long... Zhu Long Zing X I N G. See, so anybody know anything about that? And then it's got another hallmark in it, which is probably Chinese writing, and I won't be able to see if I can get that so you guys can see it. See that? Sorry, my hands go everywhere. But I'm looking that up because that just looks like they were trying to make Snoopy to me. I was hoping it would fit me. If it was Snoopy, it is a clamper. Um, it does fit me. Woohoo! Because I'm keeping that. I'm looking that up. Unless it's worth like a hundred bucks. That in mine. It just looks like Snoopy and it's pink. Okay, we have this earring, which is an interesting large ear. I also need earrings because I've sold all you guys my earrings. I hope we have the mate to that. I saw these in the picture too, and I've got a couple of these. Some people say they don't like these well, but I think they look neat. That's a nice earring. Nice large earrings. I don't look good with large earrings like that on because I don't have I have too many necks and not none of them are long enough. You know, I have like so many chins on my neck and then my neck's not long enough. This is interesting. If I can get it untangled. I don't think it's missing any ride stones though, but it's got like a little jump ring there. Let's take Monet off of um Matilda back there. Doesn't that kind of like remind you of tree branches? Let's try to see if I can focus that in better. I'm sorry if the lighting's off. 
But like it's got little rhinestones in it there. I don't look like it's missing any rhinestones. It's got a little jump ring hanging there and a little jump ring there. So I don't know if it's supposed to be together more or not. Okay. Uh, what's this? Oh, this is an earring. I thought it was a bunch of bracelets together. It's an interesting bearded earring that somebody made. Putting them over. Putting them kind of over there to see if we find them. Let's kind of move this back. Let's see what we got. Oh, I saw this in the picture and I thought, what a spiky, delicious bracelet. Look at that. I thought it was going to be stretched, but it's not. It doesn't stretch out. So what are you supposed to do? How are you supposed to get that on? I guess somebody could. See, it's not stretchy. But it's kind of silver tone, gold tone, and coppery looking. Okay, there's that other earring, but it is missing the fish hook or French hook off of it. But somebody can fix those. So I'm going to repurpose. I'm not going to get upset. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here's the hook. So, um, voila, I can fix that. And squeeze it back together so that's going to be fixable to sell here's another french hook that fell off something oh that's an interesting earring look cat's eye see we got a lot of cat's eye lately they mesmerize me that's an interesting back on that pop off back uh it's marked it is marked I'm going to take it back here and see what's marked. It's marked, and I'll put this on the screen. B R I L H O? I've never heard of that. Have any guys heard of that? I hate doing a video on this like B R I L H O, unless I. This was the, really the big statement piece that I saw in the picture and thought. That it was going to be really nice and gorgeous. Let's see if I can get it put down here on the uh, on the yellow, and then I'll point the camera down so you guys can see it. And it is all put together. I was wondering if it would be. It's very heavy. I thought they almost felt like milk glass, but they're not. Let's see. It doesn't have a hang tag on it, but I just think this would sell. Let me show you guys. Isn't that interesting? These are very heavy. They don't feel plastic. They feel glass. And they are cold. All these are here. Then this gold around it and that metal. You see the back? Somebody's wire wrapped these. These ones. And the blossom flowers. And there's a lobster clasp with an extender. And on a chain. Somebody might have made that, but it's just... Um, that's just to me, I hope that's going to be my screenshot because that's gorgeous. And that's basically why I bought this one. Let me put that up there on Matilda and see if we can't, uh, show it to you guys. And it's uh, on, on her body, the black background, it will probably show up good, but it's going to hang a little long. But hold on a second, I'll move you guys up so you can see. But I gotta get a wider one of these mannequins. But isn't that gorgeous? And these are not plastic, I don't think. Yeah, they're cold. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, it's not something I'd wear, but I would definitely even, like, decorate with it. But I just think that's awesome. We're going to leave that over there on her, even though she's just kind of sagging. Okay, and then we got some more necklaces. I knew there was going to be some more necklaces in here, which, like I said, I sold all my necklaces, so I need to replenish. Well, for you guys, because I'm not into necklaces, but so I can have some necklaces to sell you guys. Isn't that interesting? All these are wooden beads, okay, and it goes down and down and down, and then goes into some like button beads, and then goes into little beads again, and then has an extender, and then all those. That is really neat looking. I don't think I wouldn't even mind wearing that. That would be really nice to wear, even though I could kind of claustrophobic wearing necklaces but that's definitely interesting a lot of people like long necklaces a lot of us don't don't have teeny tiny necks like some of these girls and then these are glass beads because they are ice cold they are kind of a lavender color and gray 
and they are glad definitely glass beads just with a spring back clasp on it because like somebody made it and then with this little medallion on it that's really pretty different painted and it might be it kind of looks like it should like it's meant to look like abalone but I don't, it's not abalone and that's raised that is very pretty and I don't know none of my color streak nails all I'm waiting for my representative to send me some so my nails look kind of bare just notice that but we found that other earring so that's cool they don't look like they're missing any of their strings sometimes those get caught on something and then you gotta cut them I don't like doing that I had to do that with another pair here's another one of those like statement necklaces that I saw in the picture and it's coming off kind of blue but that's black beads we've got a lobster clasp um it's all there let me lay it down and show it to you guys like laid out it's really nice I think it's really pretty I think these look really pretty when people wear them I couldn't wear something that little bit hey more power to you each takes out uh, takes all kinds right I love seeing um, jewelry on people stuff that you know I couldn't wear or wouldn't wear and then it looks so nice on other people I actually even though I don't like the, the I always tell you I don't like the ribbons on the necklaces I saw in my doctor's office one of the ladies in there I think she's like a medical secretary she had one on it really looked nice with her outfit it was pink beads and had ribbon on it I thought well, were these popular Cause she was young but uh, she had it on it looked really nice And I always think who would wear them but apparently she would now isn't that nice guys and that's not missing any beads two beads there then it goes to three 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 and look all the gold beads are there Isn't that nice looking and green acrylic beads uh, lobster clasp that is nice lovely we're finding some good stuff uh-oh Oh, it's not stretchy, but it's still glass beads. It's, get, it's getting murdered. Sorry. Here's another one that was in the picture that was a statement, and I thought, yeah, I couldn't hardly see it, but I was thinking, that looks awesome. It just looks like somebody would have to have that. Somebody is just waiting for that to get put in up for auction so that they can buy that from me. Isn't that awesome? Those are hard plastic. All of them's got the little thing inside of it, right? No, that one's missing one. Oh, they're all in prong settings, guys, but this one's missing the one. Oh, well, somebody can repair it. I might even be able to repair that if I have the right size rhinestone so I could sell it. That's neat looking. This jewelry is kind of musty smelling, though. Not liking that. But I can clean it my sonic cleaner. I thought this one looked nice in the picture too. Something like that. This is just plastic. But see that? I think that looks neat. I'm back. I'm about ready to run out of time. I didn't think I this video would be that long. I got another one of those. So I got two of those. So if I stop mid sentence, guys, I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and stop and I'll come back. I'll be right back. Hey guys, I am back with this choker style necklace that you just wrap around your neck. And it does have a tag on it and I was looking at it. And I've never heard of this before. Let's see if I can get it so you can see it. Maybe you guys, I don't think I am because the tag's really dark. It's H-E-R-G-U-Z. Herguz? I don't know. So maybe you guys know something about that. So here's another one of those bib like statement necklaces. I was hoping it was all here and I think it is. But that's got an interesting... How do you get that off there? Oh. I think I've seen a clasp like that before. So you slide it that way like that. Hey. But it is yellow and it's got the large rhinestones it doesn't look like it's missing any pieces I'll point you down so you can see it pick you up a little bit so you can see it isn't that pretty that will look good on Matilda let's take these other ones off of her 
that. I'm gonna put her and see how that looks. Oh yeah, looks better if you do it back like that. But that looks really good. That's nice. This is a necklace with a brooch on on it. Um, I'm taking the brooch off because you know me. I like my brooches. And this brooch feels like it's made of leather. That's what it feels like. Let's see if the I'm trying to get. The, okay, I'm not gonna be able to get the class back in there right now. Let's see if this was marked. No, it doesn't have a hang tag on it. How does it even go? Okay, how does this work? It has no lat. It has no like fastener on it or whatever. That's strange. It just had this on there. It's kind of interesting. Oh, there's that other earring. Ooh, I pushed that one to the side. So we got both those earrings. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see what this is. Looks like a chain. It does have a hang tag on it. Looks like it's more Jessica Simpson to me from here. This by the signature. It is. It's a Jessica Simpson chain, which should sell pretty good on Poshmark. I don't know if she's, I mean, not extremely, I mean, not real high price. I mean, it's not like it's gold or anything, but just because it's a celebrity name, I think it's not gold or anything. That's cool. Oh, what's this? What is that? What is that? Is that a clip on earring or a pendant? I guess it's a pendant. It's interesting as all get out. I know that. There are some weird feeling beads. They might be wooden. Yep. Another one of those bangle bracelets. That was not my tablet. Let's see what this is. This is very heavy. Ooh, this is pretty. Look at this, you guys. I need it all to flip over. It's metal on the back. Oh, I can't get it to where it will all flip. In the... Here, it won't flip all the same way. But it is metal. I show it to you like this. Then with all the rhinestone. And like enamel stuff. See on the back how it's metal. It's not marked. It's really neat though. Okay, what do we have here? One earring. I think I'm gonna have some single earrings, you guys. That's just one of those spacer bead spacer things. Let's back here. It's a piece of mesh. Ooh, nice earring. All blinged out rhinestone and I bet you I only have one. What do you want to bet? Oh well, goes in a single earring pile. You guys buy them. There is a pendant. There's metal. Oh, here's another earring. I couldn't tell you what. Maybe we can read this one better, the signature on the back. It looks a little clearer. It's B-I- no, B R I B R I L H O. Oh, and then it says, Oh, it says S925. These are sterling. Well, they're Mark Sterling. Let's see if they stick. You guys, we found sterling. Yes, cat's eye sterling. Woohoo! They'll get us some money back, won't they? Looks like we got some hammered out brutalist silver tone earrings that are awesome looking. And this. Oh, I do have that other one. Oh, cool. Look, we've got them. And they're not missing any rhinestones. And they're pierced. Awesome. I like those. My tassels. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, let's see. What do we got here? Murder! I'm gonna murder it. I'm sorry. Um, we got a lot of tangles here that I'm not gonna do um, right now. That's the uh, Star David, which is awesome. You get a lot of crucifixes and stuff, but you don't really get Star David, and it is not magnetized. But I'm not gonna untangle that right now. I will. That's an interesting piece on there, though. I will later. 
Looks like it's going to take an awful lot of untangling. But we will later. Or I will later. I say we like you're going to come over and help me. There's a little bracelet. That's a neat little bracelet. Almost looks like googly eyes. Hey, there's part of that necklace. I thought maybe it was missing a part. Yeah, well it is. Okay. Hey, we don't have single earrings. Oh, those are neat looking. Look, I just thought they were silver. Awesome. Okay. Oh, we even have these. Wow, I've really got some good stuff in here that I didn't expect to get this great of stuff. I really didn't. Okay, we got some bits and bobs here, backs of earrings and things. And then we just got um, a really, 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 really long strand of a beaded necklace with some tangerine colored beads. We do have this this uh, necklace already right, I mean, that is really nice and it's enameled on the front, but it's a single earring. And this looks like it's a single earring. I don't know spacers. Because they don't look like to be caught up in here. But what do you think, guys? I think we did great for this. So, Shop Goodwill, thumbs up. I will check this out and tell you what that name is on the inside. And if that's like a, I don't know, um, Asian version of Snoopy? I don't know. But I'm going to get off here and look this up. All right, guys, and those earrings, too. Starting Silva. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. Please give me a thumbs up if you want to. I will talk to you later. Bye.